Voices united in the Bronx last night as NYCHA residents demanded a permanent fix for the lack of heat that they've been forced to live with this winter. Right, Lisa Evers here with more from yesterday's Street Soldiers Town Hall. Lisa. Well, Stephen Derry, as you know, for weeks we've been telling you about NYCHA no heat issues, trying to get to the bottom of why tens of thousands of rent paying residents often live without basic services. Last night we held a Street Soldiers Town Hall in the South Bronx so residents could make their voices heard. Now, residents and resident council leaders from more than a dozen public housing developments came out with local youth and concerned elected officials to talk about ways to solve the persistent problems facing NYCHA residents. Problems like no heat or hot water and urgent repairs that are not made, broken promises and dangerous health issues like lead and mold exposure. We invited the mayor and NYCHA to attend or at the very least send representatives, but they were all no-shows. Two of our panelists who grew up in public housing say it's time to take the issues to NYCHA and City Hall. NYCHA has a pattern of closing complaints without actually solving them. And that's the problem. Where's NYCHA's office building Two, at? 250, broad, 250 Broadway. We going down to NYCHA. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm no, Lisa, I'm dead serious. I'm about to organize a march. We going down to NYCHA and let's let our voices be heard right, at there NYCHA. We there we go. All right. And yo, and I'm going to lend my time and I'm going to go with y'all. And I'm going to lead it with y'all. We're going to go down there. We're going we gonna to let light you know we got a few issues up here in the Bronx. That's for sure. Now, we had a lot of support for the town hall from Hot 97, who helped us get the word out and provide refreshments to the hit web series Project Heat, which is based in the Pink Houses, to our event host, the Bronx Works Community Organization, which empowers Bronx residents to live their best lives possible. We support, we teach, we feed, we shelter, and by doing so, we provide them with platforms and places like the Pyramid for these neutral grounds to have discussions that talk about everything, everyday life that they may be going through. So I think this was the best place for it to be done. I think Bronx Works was the best people to help support the needs of the people. And Mayor de Blasio has pledged more than $200 million for new boilers and repairs, but many are skeptical about the timeline and the amount, which they say is a drop in the bucket. Our town hall is very lively and future focused. We talk about ways to make positive change in residents' lives on our next episode of Street Soldiers. I hope you'll join us tomorrow night at 1030 right after the news. Doesn't get awesome. more personal yeah. than where Jean, you live. Right. Yeah. That's Jean the biggest Rowe. deal. Yes. Animated.